Weather with Tom Kiffin. Sponsored by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. And the road to weather improvement is underway with the storm system that brought us the heavy rain last night. That has now moved off to the east and southeast. And as we see on our local three radar network, it is across lower Michigan, just south of the bridge. So the ride is wet from the Mackinac Bridge pretty much into the Saginaw and Bay City area. As we look at rainfall amounts, I'm going to stay off the screen here because I want to show you these amounts full screen here. Officially at the weather service, the storm amount from this was two point seven inches of rain, but most of that did fall after midnight. Other amounts include three point one inches of rain in the city of Marquette, three point three inches of rain, Chocolate Township, two point six inches of rain, Harvey and the winter between Beaver Grove and Green Garden Hill, five point one inches of rain last night to the western part of Marquette County. Anywhere amounts ranging from two point four inches of rain, Halfway Village to two inches of rain, Dead River Basin, one point three inches of rain, Ishpeming and 2.5 inches of rain at the Greenwood Reservoir. Across the South Central UP, rainfall amounts anywhere from 2 to 3 inches of rain. Channing picking up 3.6 inches of rain. And then in western Elger County, we had amounts anywhere from an inch or two of rain almost three inches of rain in Rumley though. And as we look at some storm reports, there was some flooding around the Shell Station and the Family Fair in Munising. And then in Marquette County, we did have some flooding or at least the river was high in Scandia Township. And then for the city of Marquette itself, we did have some road closures early on today due to some flooding. Behind this storm system, we are going to see temperatures fall off pretty good into the 40s tonight. Locally warmer though near Lake Superior. And then tomorrow, temperatures not too bad in the afternoon in the 60s and 70s. And then tomorrow night, we are looking at a chilly night with lows in the 40s. Some inland spots could go into the 30s. Locally warmer, though, near the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Here's your seven-day forecast. We're looking at temperatures next three days. Chilly in the morning, milder though in the afternoon with highs in the 60s and 70s, and then not a drop of rain in the extended forecast. And temperatures actually go above average for the middle of September next week. Usually our highs should be about 68 to 70. We'll see highs well in.